How's it going guys? Today I wanted to talk about Elden Ring. So basically, uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki had an interview, I believe it was with the IGN. And uh, if you want to read it for yourself, the article links down below in the description. I'm not going to do that, obviously, you know, losing the whole premise of being an article there. But I'm going to be taking a little bit of quotes out of there, what he himself specifically mentioned, and how he summarizes what the Elden Ring is and what's it all about. Now, so Miyazaki basically, as he describes it, the Elden Ring, is more of a third-person action RPG with a fantasy setting. The gameplay is not so far from Dark Souls. That does not mean that the gameplay will be identical, but you could say that the Elden Ring belongs to the same genre. Also, regarding that Miyazaki, Elden Ring goes beyond simply bringing new twists to the formula by adding larger, more open environments. He believes what the game will evolve on a larger scale. With a larger world, new systems and action mechanics inevitably becoming necessary. In this sense, I think that Elden Ring is more natural evolution of the Dark Souls. As he mentioned Elden Ring, uh, Miyazaki also touched on regarding of the open world souls and how, dif how differentiates it. As he, in his words anyway, while the narrow and the complex dungeons of our previous games were indeed interconnected, Elden Ring environments will be much more open and vast. The more extensive world will form the base of the Elden Ring's gameplay, and its mechanics are designed with that type of the environment in the mind. Miyazaki also gave three reasons to why he wanted to introduce this new type of the environment, such as the showing the game's world and the lore on the grander scale, adding more freedom and depth to the exploration, and creating more variations of battles. Such as like an example how Elden Ring new scale will change the Souls-like formula. The main character will be able to traverse the world on a horse with ability to fight enemies while mounted. While combat in the Dark Souls was focused on positioning yourself forably even in small rooms and narrow corridors. Like Miyazaki believes that more open environments can create more diverse situations. Like in the, as an exploration was already more varied in Sekiro, but Miyazaki says that for the Elden Ring, he wants to create a death in a different way than the 2019 Shinobi action adventure. He also touched on regarding like towns and villages in the Elden Ring, such as like villages will be dark dungeon like runes that you have to uh, that you have to expect from, from us, as he mentioned, and, and of course he laughs about it. Like creating a more open game is a big challenge for us, and if we had to add towns on top of that, it would become a bit too much. So we decided to create an open world style game focused on what we are best at. It's exactly the reason as well Miyazaki, he mentions that while studying various open world games, he refrained from being too heavily inspired by them, and rather chose to focus on making an experience only from software could deliver. Miyazaki also mentioned regarding of the collaborations with the Games of Thrones creator George R. R. Martin. Now in his words, it all started with me being a fan of the Mr. Martin's works. A Song of Ice and Fire and its drama adaptation, Game of Thrones, are both masterpieces. I'm also very fond of the Fever Dream and uh, Tough Voyaging. As it seems like from software approached Martin for a meeting, but Miyazaki originally did not expect that Martin would be willing to meet him so easily. Miyazaki really enjoyed his time with the celebrated of the author and immediately felt something clicked when he proposed the idea to make a game together. He was happy to find out that Martin was all in. As he's in his words, he mentioned, he, I was really surprised by how smoothly it all went. My, Miyazaki also mentioned regarding of the Elden Ring story. Now, in his words, right, storytelling in video games, at least the way we do it at this, from software, comes with a lot of the restrictions for the writer. I don't think it was a good idea to have Martin write within those restrictions. By having him write about a time the player isn't directly involved in, he is free to unleash his creativity in a way he, he likes. Furthermore, as is from software, we didn't want to create a more linear and story-driven experience for Elden Ring. Both issues could be solved by having Martin write about the world's history it's instead. He also touched on that it was a fascinating cal calibration as we both weren't restricted by each other, yet still influenced each other's work. 
As as well, Miyazaki compared the mythology that Martin wrote for the Elden Ring to that of the Dungeons Master's Handbook in a top table RPG. As a writer, it must have been, been largely a different experience for Martin as well. It really is like a guide for the world's lore, and therefore feels quite different from his novels. As someone that loves to learn about the world's setting, it is very exciting to read, Miyazaki said. Oh, well, he also has mentioned regarding that it's not been yet decided whether the Martin's mythology will be novelized, but he was not hesitant to state that he personally would prefer you to experience it through the game. As he's in his words mentioned, a novelization would mean that all the secrets and mystery hidden in our game would be revealed. From the point on view of the director, I'm not sure if that would be the right thing to do. As such as the player will be able to learn about the Martin's mythology through the exploration. We are known for letting the players explore the game's lore through the fragments of the environmental storytelling. And this time around, Martin's story is what you will be trying to unravel. The period of the player actually explores is still connected to the old times. So as you slowly dis discover why the world has become the way it is, you will learn more about the Martin's mythology as well. In here as well, Miyazaki mentions regarding that there is actually no fixed main character in the Elden Ring. We mostly leave it up to the player to decide the characteristics and the personality of the characters that they create. It's just that one other thing that Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne and even Deran Scene had in common is that they all have the western fantasy setting. Sekiro was Miyazaki's first game to have a Japanese setting, but for the Elden Ring, Miyazaki is going back to his western fantasy roots. As he's said, depending on a game's setting, beauty, justice and the strength of all have different nuances. With a Japanese setting, those aspects had to be portrayed in a different way. I've always wanted to create worlds with a beautiful aesthetic, but the approach towards the goal is always different. While for the Elden Ring, we're going back to the Western fantasy, the game's themes are very different from our previous works. Which means that beauty, justice and strength will be different once again. That difference has a big impact on our games as a whole. Light looks more beautiful in the darkness, said Miyazaki. When there's something beautiful in the middle of the Westland, we're able to appreciate it more. One jewel doesn't look like much when you have a pile of them. But if you find one jewel in the midst of mud, it's worth so much more. It's just how the way Miyazaki explained why his worlds are dark and beautiful at the same time, but there's so much more. As personally, a world that is happy and bright is something that just doesn't feel realistic to me. It, it may sound like I have a trauma or something. He said, well, obviously, just a bit of a laughter in there. But I believe that the world is generally a wasteland that it's not kind to us. That's just the way I see it. Elden Ring's announcement trailer begins exactly with what Miyazaki describes a small light in the middle of the total darkness. It gradually draws closer. It seems to be lonely blacksmith. We learn that the Elden Ring, which according to Miyazaki functions as the rules and rhythm of the world, has been shattered. A burning crimson sky seems to indicate that something terrible has happened, but somehow it looks beautiful. It's always interesting to read these sort of the interviews, especially when Miyazaki is so cryptic sometimes and doesn't really make sense. But also he mentions so much and yet so little. What makes this intriguing as well, it kind of makes sense. And also a lot of the things that he mentions, there's a lot of questions that needs to be answered. But obviously all those answers we may get and most likely will get will be until the Elden Ring releases. Well anyway, well, anyway thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all and have a lovely day.